Let's practice factoring trinomials. Trinomials means there's three terms. One, two, three. We know there's three terms because terms are separated by plus or minus signs. And so what we have here is this expression, polynomial expression expressed in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are numbers. This a value is actually one, and that's why we write how to factor trinomials when a equals one. But that's taken for granted. So a here is one, b is five, and the c value here is six. We can factor it as follows. When we get a trinomial, and this a value is one, it's pretty straightforward. You could try jumping straight to the answer. So the factored form is, bracket, bracket, leave enough room here, ask the question, what times what becomes x squared? x times x becomes x squared. So we already solved part of the answer. Now the challenge here is to find two numbers that multiply to be six. What times what is six, yet adds to be positive five x. So let me just take back that last statement here. We're just gonna focus on the number parts only. So what two numbers multiply to be positive six, yet add to be positive five. I'm just focusing on the coefficient of x here. So one way of doing it is to actually write out what times what is six. Start with the lowest number, one times six is six. What else multiplies to be six? Two times three is also six. Now we could go further. We could say that three times two is six and that six times one is six, but once we reach the halfway point where the numbers are repeating backwards, we no longer have to go beyond this point here. So I'm gonna stop right here. So when we look at these two rows, the numbers one and six and two and three, which one, which row feels like they add to be positive five? And the correct row would be this one here. The numbers two and three feel like five. In fact, we can just finalize the actual signs here. Positive two times positive three becomes positive six, correct? And positive two, positive three adds up to be positive five. So this here is your correct, are the correct numbers we're gonna be using. So we have positive two and positive three as the correct numbers. We can verify this by using FOIL. X times X is X squared. As for the outside, X times positive three is gonna be positive three X, and the inside is gonna be positive two X, which adds to, to be a total of positive five X. And finally, the last is gonna be positive two times positive three, indeed is positive six. So we verify that as we expand this using FOIL, that we do get this polynomial, this trinomial. So this indeed is the factored form. Excellent. So now it's your turn. Try a slightly different one with a little bit of a bigger number using the same technique. We see this is a trinomial and the coefficient's one. So we try attacking the answer directly. What times what becomes x squared? We have x times x is x squared. Now the challenge is to find two numbers that multiply to be 20 yet add to be positive nine. You can try doing it in your head, but if it's a bit daunting, we can try listing the factors. What times what is 20? One times 20 is 20. So when we look at these two numbers, how far apart do they feel from positive nine? It feels quite far apart. So let's try two times 10 is also 20 and it still feels like it's not generating nine. So I'm gonna keep going here. Using your calculator, you can play around with numbers, keep dividing to see what, what, what 20 can be divided by nice and evenly. And then what times what is 20? Four times five. Four times five indeed is 20, and four and five feels like positive nine. 
in fact if you think about it positive 4 times positive 5 is positive 20 and these numbers add to be positive 9 so I'm going to drop these numbers in positive 4 positive 5 you should foil it out x times x is x squared this here using foil is 5x and the inside is 4x which gives you 9x and positive 4 times positive 5 indeed is positive 20 so this here is the factored form so the key to factoring trinomials when a equals 1 this simple type of trinomial factoring is to write these two giant brackets figure out the first what times what becomes this first part here and figure out these missing and these missing values by asking the question what times what becomes this value the c value yet add to be the middle part if it's taking too long to figure out in your head mentally you can always list the different uh, numbers that multiply to be these to be this c value and systematically work your way to find a number that also adds to be the middle part and of course if your intuition says you, you should skip some numbers go right on ahead and skip some numbers and save some time